wonderful. Um, Welcome to my channel. Hi, everybody. Um, so I hope that everybody out there is doing all right. And I realized when I was closing off this video that I never um, kept the original introduction to um, this vlog. So I'm going to let you know right now that this is going to be a day where I um, simply go back into my old life and do all the things that I used to love to do, eat the foods that I used to love to eat, and visit the places that I always love to be. And so um, I hope you enjoy it. another part of town I've been dreaming of going back to and I, I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, let's go. Today is the day where I visit um, very dear old places still close to my heart. And so um, here I am starting off at my very first childhood home. And um, gee, I haven't been here in a while. Last time I came, I came Christmas shopping and I ended up spending a fortune on myself and nobody else. But still, it was a wonderful day spent uh, reminiscing and walking through my old childhood neighborhood. So here I am again, and I, I think I'm just going to do a little window shopping and um, 
I, I don't know. I just love being here. It, it brings back so many wonderful memories. And I, I still love coming here anyway. It's a, a great place to be. It's always very happy and cheerful here, very safe. I, I can walk around with the same level of safety that I always did uh, ever since I was two, three years old. And so um, come along with me and I'll show you where I lived. front of this old building that I remember because of that sculpture on top of the brick and I, it's directly across the street from my father's old business and I remember coming across the street I, there's a light right there I must have done it on my own and uh, it was a hardware store and guys I fell in love with this store I used to go there every day to, um, it was a little old man, and I swear to God, I, I still remember him. Um, I must have been three, four, and um, I used to go and, and tidy up a store. Um, I used to play with the things, the hammers and, and all the tools that he had. I loved hardware, I guess, I don't know. And uh, guys, I drove the man crazy. Until finally one day, he called my father and he said, hey, come and get her <laughs> because she won't leave. Um, so, but he was a sweet man and I know that he had a soft uh, spot in his heart for me, uh, for this little girl who didn't know what to do to occupy herself um, in terms of uh, entertainment. And so when I wasn't uh, calling up to the guys at the pool hall um, on the fire escape, on top of the fire escape to throw me down candy and chips, I, I was there um, fixing his hardware store. So um, guys, I, you know, I haven't walked around um, this neighborhood in the better part of four decades. Uh, I did come back briefly last summer and I walked around a bit, but um, my the, the extent of my world at that age, before I reached 10 years old, was so tiny and I, I have to retrace the steps. Um, I, I need to show you and I need to go back there myself because it was such a tranquil, carefree um, time for me and I loved my world. I, I remember waking up every day so happy I could run around and, and play throughout the stores and the streets. It was a very weird childhood, but still a happy one. And I thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. Um, that is until I got to be around the age of 10, 11 years old. And then uh, life just took on a big transformation after that. And so, um, but I, I want to retrace the steps of my, you know, of my old neighborhood and, and show you what my daily uh, walk would have been. And that would include my, my school. And so, um, let's go. I just knocked on my very old um, apartment door and nobody answers. Uh, I told the man who owns this um, kickboxing club that I used to live here and he was so nice and um, he did say that he doesn't know who lives up here but um, it, it feels so good to be back here. Can you imagine that this spot right here where I'm standing 
I, I played here for 10 years. And right here, hold on. Right here was a huge long hallway that led to the um, tip of our backyard. And uh, on the upper part of this long laneway, which I have pictures of, I could show you, um, there was a pool hall. And I, I used to shout and, and uh, climb up the fire escape and, and they used to throw me down bags of chips and chocolate bars to keep me quiet. And it's amazing that now it's a, a totally professional office space. So these stairs are the stairs that led into the movie theater that my father managed. And um, it was my uncle who managed it um, before that. And so it, I remember coming down these steps every Saturday afternoon to watch Popeye and Cinderella. Um, I, I would stuff my pockets with chocolate rose bags and popcorn. Um, right next door to the um, business that we had. So uh, I still feel the familiarity of this building, although it's been completely uh, changed over and renovated. I, I can still sense that old familiarity. So it's amazing to be here. <laughs> this store and I'm gonna go in and have a look. I bought a few things here at Christmas time. I always come back to this place. turn around and walk one way and then come right back.
temperature shock where I remember playing with a lamb and then the next day I saw it hanging in the window and I went in there to tell them off. And I promised him that I would never ever show up there again. My mother and I used to shop there um, every day, every week, and I refused to go in there with her anymore because they slaughtered the lamb. That was um, a famous Italian restaurant, very popular, and celebrities from all over the world used to come, especially, you know, Italian singers and recording artists. And I remember my family and I used to come here every week to celebrate the um, soccer victories that my dad's team um, used to win. And um, I have so many photos and memories of this place. It's sad to see it gone. I dropped out at six years old. to cross the lights and come up here and spend a day in here until one day um, the owner or the clerk I don't remember I have no recollection of this um, put me in a cage and asked my dad to come and get me uh, now many of the shop owners did that but I have no recollection of being locked up in a cage
as you can see, this is where my craze for shopping fashion or fashion shopping all began. a bank, um, a beautiful bank, uh, a different bank, and it's only across the street from where I used to live, and I remember that we used to have parties here so often. If it wasn't every week, it was every other week. when I was six years old because he slaughtered a lamb after I played with it. So that used to be a humongous Kresge, um, the brown brick building. Um, my mother used to take me here for lunch almost every day, which um, the school was just here that I'm going to show you. And um, I, I remember that's where my um, obsession with hot dogs began. I would either go to Woolworths or Kresge for lunch every day and um, when I was young enough I would be having fits because my mother wouldn't buy me the toys that I wanted.
it's part of my world and it's still here, although I think the management must have changed in Four the Plates. But um, I have so many vivid memories of running over here from the school to buy candy. such an awesome feeling when I'm here. Um, it, it's almost as though I, no time has passed. And yet, you know, my time spent here as a child was almost endless. Um, it's almost as though I have nothing but a connection to this place. Um, no matter where I go, I'm always connected to this place. I, I, it's very hard for me to describe and put it into words, but um, it, it's an awesome feeling. And my that little bit of walk that I gave you was probably pretty much the extent of my world um, when I was two, three years old. And the streets were then so heavily populated. Um, I, I don't know how we ever managed. It was packed, packed. And even the store, my father's business itself, was always packed. And um, I remember parties and get-togethers and soccer games. Uh, it was one endless um, good time for us here. But then you know, life began to get more and more real, especially after we moved out of the area. Um, my father kept the business for another year or two, um, but we moved out of the area to that other house that I showed you uh, about two, three weeks ago. And But I was never so happy as when I was here. And um, of course we thought we were moving up in the world, but we all found out sooner or later that it wasn't, um, the home that we went to was not as enjoyable as our life here was. And so I am guys, right back here again where I started. And I have to say that was some work. And I didn't realize it would take so long. But um, the streets are, littered with people and the way I remember it it's hardly any people compared to back then so the demographics have really changed and rather than being mostly Italian it is now predominantly um, Afro-American and Portuguese and Mexican I love it I love the mix and this was so grounding well, I got in just in time. It's starting to drizzle, and um, I'm pretty sure I did most of my walk for today. I was considering going back into my uh, current neighborhood for um, a quick walk, but I think I'm pretty much done in. And, you know, the stress of stopping my camera every other second and letting people go by, um, <laughs> really wore me out as well. But guys, I can't begin to tell you uh, how happy it makes me to come here. Now, um, there were many more bars and diners um, all throughout the street. I, I remember there being a bakery right practically next door to our business and my mother used to send me there early in the mornings to buy bread for my dad, those big round breads with a hard crust, which I still love. And I, you know, I want to cry because I can't emulate that happiness anymore, uh, unless I come here. Um, 
it's not changed very much. It still feels the same. It's wonderful to be able to walk around here with this level of safety. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. Um, I, I absolutely wish I could come here every day, but it's a pain. It's a pain to come here. It's very heavy traffic and um, it's hard to find parking, especially during business hours. So anyway, um, I'm uh, off to um, the next part of my day. So uh, I'll, I'll talk to you. being here when I was pretty young actually with my first boyfriend and we live not too far from here um, actually just up the street and I remember every time we had sort of an argument like a really big falling out he would take me here and I don't know who would apologize first but it always ended up that at least one of us would apologize and um, well that's how it goes for salads for the next couple of days or so and um, I also picked up some cereal um, because I still have some milk left I'm going to switch the view and um, let you have a look at what I got uh, in total I spent about $65 so everybody I really crave this salad dressing with coleslaw all the time and when I get that craving 
I know it's time to just um, give in. I I don't know what it is about these two ingredients. I love them together. And so I picked up some cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, some uh, peppers, sweet peppers, and some lettuce, two different kinds of lettuce, right there. Artichoke hearts, a lime, avocado, red onion, and these are for my soup, carrots and zucchini. Yes, because I'm going back to um, the uh, starch solution. As soon as I finish off the milk and um, probably the salad dressing, uh, so I, I really love this cereal. What can I say? And so, um, yes, all of that came to about $65. And so, uh, guys, I, you know, I didn't um, want to uh, leave my old neighborhood quite that suddenly, but I could see that the day was changing and I still had some stuff to do. And so I rushed through it and um, it was so awesome to meet that man who um, said, you know, he wished me the best. And he was so pleased to find out that I, lived there as a little girl. And when I told him that my father owned a store in that spot, he was so pleased. And um, it's nice to go there. Guys, it's a part of the city that no matter what happens, everybody is so, usually everybody is so friendly and nice. I know that when I was a little girl, I had a different opinion. But it's quite safe there, and um, I, I just go a couple of times a year because it, it just seems to ground me. But I was disappointed that I didn't really find much. I, I still need to go back and shop around a little more. Um, I, I didn't have an awful lot of time today, but I wanted to show you where I grew up and where I played as a child. And yes, I played in stores. I, I didn't play in a playground that we passed on the way up. I, I played in stores, and the store owners were my friends. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, guys, I, I think I'm going to get all this cleared away, make my salad, and then uh, I think I'll probably call it a day because um, I'm not going to have any discussion about any case today. It's just, you know, a uh, um, laid-back kind of easygoing day, and the weather cut it short. Um, I would still be out had, had it not been for the weather turning bad. I'm surprised that it lasted until about 5.30. I thought for sure at 1 p.m. it's going to start pouring. But no, it lasted. I had an enjoyable day, thank goodness. But um, now it's time to feed my kitty and uh, make my salad, and I'll show you how it looks when it's all done. So uh, I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Hi, everybody. Um, so I finished my salad, which, no, I didn't finish my salad, but I finished my dinner, and um, of course the rest of it is for tomorrow, and I have uh, more for the following couple of days. I usually do this in the summertime once in a while, um, but uh, today you really actually saw what I eat in a day. And um, although I didn't finish showing you the clips of the lunch uh, restaurant that I went to, um, I, I also had avocado toast. And so um, that's, that's basically what I eat in the summer. And yeah, sometimes that includes uh, ice cream for breakfast. And so um, I, I have to say that I was so disappointed in um, the botanical garden. I, you know, haven't been there in decades. I'm not a botanical garden person. I mean, I love gardens, but um, this 
botanical garden used to be so awesome. I remember being astonished when I walked into those gardens um, all those years ago with my first boyfriend. And we, we used to go there once in a while, whenever we were going through a rough patch, because um, in case you haven't um, heard some of my other story times, he was usually in um, a, a position of turmoil and anxiety because his family was moving from this country to another country and they had already done it once before. It was a very hard move for them, but they weren't managing well in my city. And so it was a good move for them. I know now it was the best move for them and they're all living happily now. And so, um, you know, it was, it was hard for the both of us because we had to accept that change. And so when we went um, we weren't going to be able to stay together because I was too young to stop going to school and get married. And he was also pretty young. He wasn't at the point where um, he wanted to get married. And I, there's no way that I could have made that move. And so um, we, we ended up splitting off. And, but the botanical gardens, it was awesome because we used to go there and forget all of our anxiety, all of our troubles and worries and, and fighting. And it, it was just wonderful. And because I've been feeling stressed lately and going through a lot of other changes, um, for instance, there's a lot of changes going on in my city right now, and I'm anxious about them. And so going to those gardens today kind of put me in the right perspective. And even though I was disappointed in how um, it, it got to be less beautiful than it ever was before, um, I don't know why that happened. But um, I, I just, you know, when you go to a place that you used to love and it's not the same anymore, well, that, that goes without saying. Um, <laughs> it's not the same anymore. And so uh, still, I was able to, you know, have a nice chill half hour uh, walking among the trees and flowers, but not the same as it used to be. So unfortunately, what can I say? Um, but I, I probably will end up going back to my old childhood neighborhood uh, when the weather is better. It, it, this, this rain puts a damper on everything. And so guys, I'm gonna sign off the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed watching me um, throughout my day. Um, I it, it, The weather cut it right off, but I did manage to get a lot of um, stuff done today. And still, um, you know, it, it, I went out today trying to look for something uh, that I would enjoy buying because I usually buy myself one or two items um, in the summer, like, you know, shoes or a new purse. Uh, I haven't seen anything that I've liked so far. And so um, that's another disappointment. But anyway, guys, I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. And if you can see, I'm very tired. Uh, my cat won't let me sleep. So I'm up at 5, 6. And I'm lucky if I can fall back asleep, but usually I can't. Um, oh, Anyway, I have to go to sleep. And I will talk to you tomorrow. And um, please, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.